Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the long awaited contemporary handbag collection video. Two weeks ago I did my designer handbag collection video and I asked you guys if you wanted to see this video and most of you were like, yes, show us the contemporary bags. The original plan was to film this video right away but then I ordered this Polen bag and I was like, wait, I, I, I need to wait for this bag to do this video because this bag is incredible and that is how we are going to start this video with my latest Polen bag. Polen has probably been one of my favorite contemporary brands for the longest time. I have quite a few other bags. I originally saw this bag, it's called Le Sim on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, this bag is amazing. Originally I thought I wanted the mini and then I saw the larger version and I was like, no, this is what I need. It is giving me all kinds of Celine Phantom 2010 vibes. This is why I love it. You can tuck the wings in and carry it like this, but in my opinion, the whole chicness of this bag is wings out, held as a top handle. I also like this vibe. I styled it really well on Instagram with this like rugby sweater and I was all over it. I love the color that I went with. I love the size. I love what it looks like on the shoulder. This bag is my perfect work bag. I love this. It fits my laptop. I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro. It goes in here. It fits my agenda. Everything I need for the day fits. And then inside it has this little pouch. Sorry, it has like a bunch of my stuff in this because that's what I was using for work today. But it has this little pouch here where I put like crayons, markers, highlighters, lipsticks. It just goes in there and you can just grab it because this bag will get full. I promise you. But this bag is a goodie. The next bag that is also relatively new is by Cezanne. This is the Claude bag in the mock croc chocolate brown. Luca was telling me to buy this bag in black. She was a big fan of this bag in black and I was like, I don't know babe, I think I need to go chocolate brown mock croc and I usually always listen to her because honestly that kid knows style but I really listened to myself on this one and I'm very happy I did. This bag is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a glossy gold hardware at the front, the perfect mock croc. It is such a chic leather. It does the most iconic short crossbody, which for me is everything. This strap can be made longer, but this is the length I personally like. And honestly, this bag looks way more expensive. Strawberry is one of those brands that I lean towards on the contemporary front. I love this bag in butterscotch. This is one of their classics that I really like. It has this knit strap on top that is really gorgeous. It also comes with a crossbody, but I did like it worn this way with this like knitted little strap. Malloy, Malloy, whatever this brand is called, this bag is iconic. It has this like, it kind of like folds over. It's giving me like Lueve vibes. Um, it has a crossbody as well, but again, you guys know me short little strap or nothing. This bag was in my favorites of last year, my like best affordable luxury handbags. I think that's what the video was called. It is a Calvin Klein. I loved how this was like seamless. I love the shape of this bag. Also comes with a crossbody, but you know me. I don't use crossbodies. It just sits super cute. It's a great size. I just, I don't know. I love this bag. Calvin Klein for me is one of those like sleeper polo sport brands that I'm always gonna love because I have so many like memories of the brand. I love this bag. I don't actually know what the brand is on this bag but I've had this since I'm a teenager. My mom got this in Italy on her honeymoon. They went to the south of Italy. My parents as you guys know are both from Italy and they went from the north to the south for their honeymoon and my mom picked up this bag. It had a shoulder strap at one point. I don't know what I did with it but I've always just carried it like this and I've had it since high school and it's been one of those like bags that I pull out once in a while. It's not like an often use but it has so many memories. It's from I think 1978 or 1979 and it's just so, it's very my mom also if you know my mom. This is such a her bag so it's very special to me. The iconic Michael Kors Aster bag. Not sure if you guys know this, but I started off my career in the fashion industry working for Michael Kors head office when they launched Michael Michael Kors in 2004. I was there for years and I carried the top handle Aster bag for an eternity. 
and they relaunched this bag. It's a Michael Kors Aster Re-Edition 2004. This kind of marked this like iconic moment in my career where I used to travel all over the place. I was a rep, so I used to travel everywhere selling Michael Kors, and it was back in the heyday of Michael Kors. I don't know, this bag, the Aster, the studding, gives me so much like, it just throws me back. When I saw that they re-editioned the Aster collection, I was like, I have to. This is just everything. I was invited to a Zadig et Voltaire event a few years ago. It was probably 2020, 2021, and they had an artist come in and customize bags for us. So this one says Mel Soldera. See, it says Mel Soldera right here. It's one of the classic Zadzig just shoulder bags. I've carried this like this. I love Zadzig et Voltaire. Their leather is incredible. The first time I went to Paris with my sister, I went, I believe it was a Zadzig store, and I remember going in with my sister and being like, oh, I want everything here, but we were broke like college students, and um, we left without buying anything, and then this Zedigue Voltaire bag is my favorite one that I own. It's their Kate Moss collaboration. So it's meant that you can wear it as a belt bag, as a shoulder bag, as a short crossbody. It's tiny, which I love. It's like this metallic silver hardware. I love that it has their logo. Everything about this bag just makes me so happy. I think it is so gorgeous. And yeah, I love it. Speaking of Michael Kors, I got this bag PR when they did their Aless, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Aless collaboration, and I thought it was pretty iconic that they did this. I personally never heard of Aless, but I thought it was a really cool collaboration. I love how this came out. I adore this bag. I got this PR from Sasha Exeter. She sent it to me. It's her collaboration with Aja. I think that's how you pronounce it. It is the most fabulous oversized clutch. This is one of my favorite colors, and I love that I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. It's just so good. It's the perfect size and I love this collaboration. It came with a strap, which I'm sure I'll find, but it came with like a, I think it was an orange strap. I've never used the strap, but I have used the bag and I'm very, very, very into it. Found the strap. It was orange on one side, green on the other. I love a good bucket bag. Stratberry nailed this bucket bag. It's like a plum color with a red top stitch. It has that signature like stick that goes through with the little balls on each side. This bag is everything. It has this light gold hardware. Again, it comes with a longer strap, but who needs a crossbody, really? Who needs one? I discovered this brand a few years ago from my friend Vanessa who lives in Ghana and it's called Marte et Gilly. And she told me about this brand and she was like, Mel, you need, you need to get these bags. So when Vanessa tells me I need something, I get it. This was the smaller version. I got it in white and then I have the medium version in pink. These bags are really beautiful. They're like a grained leather. I think they're all hand stitched as well. A big fan of these. My forever favorite Zadzig et Voltaire pouch. Uh, this is supposed to be a belt bag. I wear it as like a chest crossbody. You've definitely seen me wear this bag if you see me on Instagram. It is filthy because I travel with it. I take this to the gym. I take this to yoga. I love this bag. Three of my friends have bought this bag because I wear it so much and they're like, wow, this must be really practical. I love it. My little pollen. I love this bag. I got this bag this summer as like a short crossbody. I got it in like this cognac color. I think it's so beautiful. It's like butterscotch color. I just love the way it sits. I love everything about this bag. I love that it harnesses on the side. This bag is so, so fun. One of my really good friends got this bag in cream and I kind of love it in cream as well. This is just one of those bags that you will grab and go very easily. My Esla clutch. I love this bag. I am very good friends with Ariane, who is the marketing manager for the brand. This brand is owned by two fierce, amazing, badass women. The whole concept of this brand is that it is made of cactus leather, but it feels like if you were to touch this leather, you would think this is the softest lambskin. I love the value of the brand. I love the ethics of the brand, but I also love the look. This big, thick chain. It's just, she's cute. 
She's really cute. There's a larger version that I saw of this bag that Claude has, my friend Claude, and it's absolutely gorgeous. But like that, it's the feel. Like if you guys, I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna message Ariane and see if I can get a code for you guys. This bag is, I love it. This is one of my favorite little bags. It's by a brand called Lux Mono. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they embossed my initials on it, which I love. This is also, I don't know what it is with mock croc. I love a good brown mock croc. This bag is just so, so chic. My sister bought me this bag the year I think I started my business and I was traveling a ton and it was an iPad holder by Diane von Furstenberg and I used to put my my iPad in here and I used to just like work directly on the plane with my iPad. It was so chic like I would shop at the airport with this with a strap and it was like my briefcase slash iPad slash laptop holder. Diane von Furstenberg. I am such a huge DVF fan by the way that this like brings back like so many memories. I discovered this brand in Paris, it's called RSVP, and I got it in this burgundy color with gold hardware, and they embossed it somewhere. I can't remember where I did it. Oh, here, I did my initials right here on the side. It says number two here. I don't know if it's something about the style, but I really, 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 when I got this bag, I was so excited. It was my first like burgundy brown bag, and this brand is not cheap. Like, I don't even know if I can consider RSVP um, contemporary because it's over $1,000, I believe, if memory serves me right. I was so excited when I got this bag and I still really love it. I find it such a good classic. It gives like Celine box vibes. My Cara backpack. Who remembers Cara? I don't know if Cara is still really around in terms of handbags, but this backpack was everything. I got this at Essence. I think I got it for Christmas one year for my parents. I never carried it as a backpack. I just carried it like a handheld like this, and I thought it was so cool. This like patent, perforated bottom, pebbled leather, this Cara backpack had a moment, I believe it was like 2015, 2016, but man, did Kara have a moment. Zashadu, I believe. Zashadu. I saw Vanessa with this bag. It's a designer from Ghana, and she picked up this bag. Vanessa and I, for those of you who've been around for a while, we're still friends. She just lives on the other side of the world. She's in Ghana. And she texted me one day, and she's like, Mel, you need this bag. So I was like, oh my god, buy it for me and send it to me. So she picked it up for me. It is so beautiful. The details are insane. I've carried this as like a night out bag. It's beautiful. You are gonna have to like this video if you remember this bag. How way back do we go with this bag? My Stowe mini bucket bag from Primary New York. How many of you bought this bag? If you got this bag, you have to tell me because I remember Cleo from Primary telling me she sold hundreds of these bags because I was so obsessed with them. So if you guys remember the Stowe bucket bag, I will never get rid of this bag. This is the original perfect black bucket bag. This is by JNBY. This bag is so cool. I brought this to Miami. This bag is everything. The color, it's like this knotted silk bag with this like gold hardware clasp. Can be worn as a clutch, but like honestly, what? This is so good. It's like the type of like bracelet knots that we used to make bracelets back in the like 90s. Whoever's my age knows exactly what I'm talking about. This bag is epic from JMBY. My little sparkly disco ball. I love this bag. This is by HRH Collection. I love this for going out. It's become that like perfect like going out bag where you want to go out, you want some extra shine, you want some glitter. This bag. My McQueen by Alexander McQueen. I think this was called the razor bag. My parents bought me this for Christmas an eternity ago. And I remember my mom telling me like, I don't think you're gonna carry this. This is not your color. You don't like color. You always just go with neutrals. She was right, I never carried this bag. I might have carried this maybe four or five times because as soon as you fill it up, you can't handhold it. This would end up dropping. You would have to carry it with the strap. And you guys know me. If there is a strap, it's not my thing. I thought I was gonna be able to hold it like this. So I ended up just carrying it like this. And it was pre the era of oversized Bottega clutches. So it was kind of just like you weren't used to the annoyingness of carrying a big oversized bag. I really wanted to do this and I couldn't. But yeah, 
I will never get rid of it because it's my mom and dad who got it for me. Just found a Prada bag in my contemporary bags. I completely forgot I had this. This is the Prada belt bag. I love this bag. I need to pull this out more. It's a nylon, uh, did I say bucket? Belt bag. It is a nylon Prada belt bag. Why was this in the contemporary stuff? I love it like this. Oh, I love it like this. This is so cute. I need to like make it a little bit longer just so it could sit better. This is so good. Not contemporary. Should have been in my designer handbag collection video, but yeah, Prada, belt bag. What feels like a million years ago, I had a vendor send me this bag as a Christmas gift, as a thank you for working together. And they had my favorite picture of Luca and I from back in the day painted on the side of the bag. So this is so pretty. I don't even know what brand this bag is, but I find this so special and it's such a pretty bag. But like the picture of Luca and I, meh. For serious though, I just found more designer bags. My little Pucci bag, I completely forgot I had this and I love this bag. I bought this years ago when, uh, before the trend of Pucci came back. And I love this bag. I must have stashed it away with my contemporary bags. And then I have this little Dior pouch that I also really love. I have these exotic clutches that I still use to this day when I go on vacation. They're all from Primary New York. I don't know if you guys remember Primary, but I used to work a ton with them. Also, Cleo, who owned the shop, was one of my really good friends from back in the day. And I love her. She's now mom of three. She moved to the Hamptons and she's living her best like suburban mom life and I love that. But she used to have a store called Primary New York and she used to make the most incredible accessories and these little clutches were like my clutches of choice. They used to be on Revolve and Shop Up and she had designed them. So I bought a ton of them and I still to this day use them when I go out. I also had this bag by a brand called Rena Iman sent to me. I don't know if the brand still is around, but she sent me this really cute clutch years ago and it's in my like favorite clutch pile. All right guys, that's it. I just realized that was the last bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My camera is about to die because this ended up being a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe if you're not. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.